Hey guys, my name is Chetan Snowy and today we are gonna review Infernus ROM version 2.5 for Galaxy S4 i9500 and the link to the ROM will be in the description. So first of all, it looks just like the Note 5 and let's just dive into settings first of all. And on the all the standard Samsung settings and we're gonna go in sound and standard settings and display and let's get into HD screen and edge lighting will not work of course it does not have a edge screen and people's edge information stream let's see if the information stream works of course it does not work night lock does not work and well let me show you the people's edge it does work and it does give you a blurred screen all this for motion and gestures the wallpapers I think they are from the S6 I've not seen the Note 5 so I can tell if they are from the Note 5 let's get into security and settings and you can set a pattern pin and password and let's go into unlock effects it does have different unlock effects let's set a winter let's see You do have charging effects. I like to set it on no effect. And let's get out of it. And you do have easy mode. And let's go into accessibilities. And you do have a directional lock. Let me show you the direction lock. What it does is it sets a direction wise lock. Like if you set up, right, down, and left, it's going to remember it. Let's hide the content. And you can see to unlock, I have to put in the directions I set lock, lock in and it unlocks let's just turn it off and let's get into vision and hearing I always turn on flash notification and accounts you can set up many accounts and battery you have power saving mode set it up as your convenience let's turn it off let's get into power ultra power saving mode and let's agree to that and it will configure the device and you can set uh, you can add more applications over here let's get out of it and it will configure device Let's get into settings once again and let's get into about device and it does show the device name as Galaxy Note 5 and the Android version is 5.1.1.1 and the kernel is permissive. Let's get into apps and you can see that the launcher is uh, 5 into 5 just like the Note 5 and it has the standard Evernote 5 phone app and let's get into messages standard Note 5 and you can see that it has a nice animation 
the internet app the standard as Samsung internet app and the camera let's go into camera okay and let's cancel that and you can see that it is just like the S6 and you have these modes over here and the promos just crashes I guess no it does not crash if you but I think if you change the setting it does crash and let's get into auto and let's see what else is over here and you may it does also have effects well let's see the selfie camera back to the main camera and you can see that the people search always also shows over here and does also blur the background let's get out of it and let's get into music app the S6 music app and the video app Let's get into one and let's get into I Need a Doctor by Dr. Dre and Eminem, of course. The sound is decent and the pop up player is also there. Let's go out of video app and let's get into calculator app and standard S6 and the clock app not much has changed and the S planner showing the holidays and and the smart manager clean and the RAM usage is fairly low 60% and these are the new features that came out about a month ago from Samsung and the tools is showing my files same as the S6 and the voice recorder icon has changed I don't use the S voice and let's get it memo and the S note I don't know how it works let's get out of it and let's get into air commands Grant the permission, and these two actually work. Let's just cut that and screen right. See, it actually works. Let's just cut that and let's see. Add shortcuts so you can add shortcuts to your applications and let's get into OTA updates and there is an update available version 2.7 and it's about 14.2 MB just keep it on download you can see that not much has changed you can see the change log over here and let's get into ROM control and you can customize your ROM pretty much everything you can post uh, you can customize over here drop down panel and all these other things 
gives you a nice customizable feel to it and tiny apps let's see what these are music alright so that is what it is and it comes with briefing And the briefing just freezes let's just go back to home page and you can add this is the weather app and you can add application your city over here let's get into Delhi Delhi India get into themes and let's just download one theme so you need a Samsung account for this let me just sign in Let's apply the theme. And you can see that it changes almost every icon. And let's see the lock screen. The unlocking effect is still the same. And, and well you can see that it also changes the icons over here so and well I think you can notice that the ROM is very fluent and but unfortunately I cannot test the battery life right now because my battery is faulty and the battery drop is not because of the ROM it is because my battery is faulty And we're just gonna wait for the version 2.7 to download and as you can see it is downloaded and let's install it and let's get into install and we're gonna go in internal storage of course and OT updates and we're gonna select version 2.7 and we're gonna swipe to confirm flash and we're gonna reboot the system and you can see that there is no update available now and last thing I would like to tell you is that the option key left key works as a recent apps key in this ROM well thanks for watching guys